Okay, perfect. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. Uh, thanks for joining our webinar, another webinar from the series of the subject webinars. My name is Georgi. Uh, as always, the person behind the scenes. You can hear me, but you cannot see me mostly. <laughs> so yeah, uh, welcome. And uh, today uh, we are going to talk uh, uh, talk about very interesting topic about stunning renewable energy and data management in Germany. So this is kind of an umbrella topic for today. And I'm not alone. You can see our guests from German universities who will present to you two specific study programs in this direction. So uh, yeah. Just a quick uh, heads up to those who are not yet familiar that much with a webinar setting. Very easy. Next to the chat in the bottom part of your Zoom interface, there's a Q&A button. Click on this Q&A button and send us your questions. You have time until the very end of the webinar and it is already open. So some of your questions might be answered already in the written form. Others will be answered during our live Q&A session. The live Q&A session will start in around 45 minutes, I would say. And then all of your questions will be addressed uh, directly by one of our guests. Also, keep it on the chat. Keep an eye on the chat because they will, be, uh, will share with you some interesting information as well. So here is my very short presentation before we move to our guests. So let me introduce to them once again. So we have guests from Hochschule Offenburg or Offenburg University of Applied Sciences. It's Lydia Dantas Schindler, and she will talk about Master of Science level program in renewable energy and data engineering. And then we will move to our guests from Hochschule Ansbach, who will, uh, Dr. Gerd Hoffmann, and he will talk about uh, master's program in smart energy systems. So before we move to them, let me quickly tell you that we are my German university, and when you're searching for the English taught study programs in Germany, our name, I'm almost sure, will definitely pop up. So we have a database of over 2,700 degree programs, which are at least mostly taught in English in Germany. Uh, and our main goal is to help international students to find questions, to find answers to their questions regarding uh, studying in Germany. So uh, we do this through three key ways. One of them is our study finder. And you can see on the screens now the study finder, a small version of our study finder. And we have uh, some bachelor courses, master's courses listed, uh, also short, uh, short and language courses listed in our database. And it has a it has a lot of filters. Uh, when you go to our website, you will see, you'll find them out, and you can uh, find the programs uh, fitting suitable programs much more, much quicker and more efficiently. The second way of uh, providing answers is through our articles. So we cover there uh, many topics that are relevant and interesting for you. For example, if you are uh, if you need APS certificate, for example, or if you need to write a letter of motivation or CV, if you are interested in rankings or um, blocked account issues and so on and so forth. We provide answers to these questions in our articles. We have multiple articles on different topics and I would suggest you to check them out. And also the last but not least, it's um, our webinars. We have uh, various webinars on different topics, of course, about studying in Germany. It can be general webinars about scholarships, about visa, about universities and more, or it can be subject specific webinars uh, where we have guests from German universities like today, and they uh, talk about, present their particular specific study programs to you. The Yeah, the webinars can be about, for example, mechanical engineering, philosophy, uh, renewable energy, data science, and so on and so forth. All of the webinars that are already planned, you can sign up for them for free and also attend them, of course, for free. Our team is based in Hamburg in Northern Germany, but we are all over Germany and also all over the world that we are counseling in different languages. So um, if you are also interested in German taught study programs, I would also suggest you to check out Hochschule Kompass. There you might find some interesting programs in the field, but mostly uh, in German language. And also, of course, if you are more into English taught study programs than my German university and our study finder should definitely be your stop. So uh, we have various degree programs uh, in the field of renewable energy and data management and on both levels of bachelor, master's, and most of them are in English only, which means that to successfully get into those programs, and in many cases to successfully complete them, you are fine with English only, with no German skills. But of course, yeah, uh, suggestion is always to learn more German, especially if you are planning to stay in the industry here. Um, yeah, um, so uh, for those who are not familiar with this, with this field, for example, what does it mean to study these fields, these disciplines in Germany? Uh, we also have some specific subject pages for each and every field where you can find uh, general information. For example, what are the universities that are offering um, uh, programs in these disciplines? What are the tuition fee ranges that you should budget for? What are the different requirements and so on and so forth? So it's a very nice first step for those to, to familiarize yourself uh, and to manage your expectations, so to say. Um, and yeah, uh, regarding our tip is that you will 
always it's important to find the university right university and study profile uh, that's why it's, it's it's of utmost importance to uh, be guided not only by sole and single aspects but but by by many of them yeah by rankings also by fees for example by names and cities etc cetera, etc cetera, and much more go Beyond that, take into account your individual background, your professional aspirations, and only by doing that, you'll be able to make the right choice of the university and the program, respectively. Uh, also, in Germany, there are two key types of universities. One is called Universität, which is just in English, university. And the second type is called University of Applied Sciences, which in German has different variations. For example, Hochschule, Fachhochschule are one of them. Uh, and yeah, today we are focusing on, on the second type because both of the universities are belong to the second type of university. And uh, re uh, when it comes to the focus, this is the key difference, I would say. The focus, or in case of Universitäten, is more into research and theory in general. And in case of a University of Applied Sciences, usually it's more onto application and practice. And in addition to the aspects that I mentioned before that you should ideally take into account when you are searching for the programs, also when you're trying to find the programs through our study finder, my suggestion would be to also uh, be flexible with wordings. Uh, and by doing that, by combining this flexibility with the aspects that were mentioned before, you will drastically increase your chances of increasing your awareness of what is German is able to offer you, and then subsequently to make the right choice for yourself. All right, let us now move from the north to the south, uh, to the Offenburg University of Applied Sciences. Lydia now will talk about renewable energy and data engineering uh, study program, master's level program. Lydia, the floor is yours. So thank you very much for this introduction. And uh, I'm very happy to be here to present you our program, Renewable Energy and Data Engineering. You should now see the slides, is that correct? Yes. Perfect. So I want to invite you to have a look at the program, Renewable Energy and Data Engineering at Offenburg University. It's an English uh, taught program, but not completely in English. Uh, so you will study in English, live in German, Germany at the same time, but also uh, in the second semester, you will already have some courses in German. So you already get to practice uh, German uh, during your studies. And this just makes it easier to you uh, if you intend to um, work in Germany afterwards and therefore it's a combination. So in the beginning it's completely in English and they later on uh, there are some classes taught in German too, but you will still be able to do the exams and so on in English. But now let me introduce a little bit in general. So my name is Lydia Schindler, as Georgie already said, and I'm working here in the graduate school of Offenburg University and I want to give you a uh, at first, a broad overview of Offenburg University and then go a little bit more into detail about this specific program. Where are we located? Uh, in the southwest of Germany. So Offenburg is very close to the French border and also to the Swiss border. Uh, so it's, my, from my point of view, the prettiest and definitely the warmest region of Germany. You see some pictures here of the region. Uh, the bottom is already a picture. Uh, bottom picture is a big picture of Strasbourg. So this um, city in France is already only about half an hour away. Basel in Switzerland is about an hour uh, away from Offenburg. So it's a very international area. And at the same time, one of Germany's strongest economic regions and this is definitely something we all benefit from and our students also when they look for practical trainings and so on. And we have this cross national metropolitan area. Um, it's a very dynamic region with high employment prospects. And at the same time, we have this beautiful surrounding and this extraordinary living standard here. So I've been living, my I personally have been living in different places um, in Germany also, and I came back here because I really love this area, these close distances, this international atmosphere and this beautiful black forest region. And so it's a very touristic region at the same time where you can enjoy nature and, and the mountain areas at, also at the same time. But about Offenburg University, I want to uh, tell you a few facts about our uh, institute here. We are a university of technology, business and media, which means 
Uh, as Georgie already mentioned before, we are university uh, oriented in applied uh, um, instruction and applied research, and especially in these three areas, technology, business, and media. We do not offer uh, all the whole spectrum of courses that you would find in a, in a traditional university, but only those three, and those are the ones we are really good in. We were founded in 1964, so one of the oldest universities of applied sciences here in southwest of Germany and offer this praxis oriented studies in about 25 bachelor and also I think there are around uh, 25 master programs by now at the same. So it's about the same amount. And there are almost around four 4,000 students enrolled in these programs and about 12% of them are international. Most of them in these international master's degree programs of our uh, graduate school. And therefore, if you study here in our, one of our international master's degree programs, you will have a very international atmosphere and in contact with people from all over the world because students come from all continents to study here. At the same time, we have cooperation with more than 80 universities worldwide because we definitely want to have many students to come and study here at Offenburg University, but also we want to give our students the possibility to do an exchange uh, semester at a different place and get an international uh, experience and also invite exchange students to come here. Now it's stopped. So at the same time, we also have a spacious enterprise network, uh, which means they are very close contact into the industry, into the economy, uh, into the companies here in this region, as well in Germany, but also France and Switzerland. And you enjoy the safe and friendly environment here. It's a smaller town of about 60,000 inhabitants here. And um, I personally feel very secure and safe to walk by myself at night uh, through the streets. And I think this is something, if you come from a big uh, city, maybe some somewhere around the globe, you will really enjoy this safe and friendly environment. Looking at the facilities that you have here at Offenburg University, you will find very well equipped laboratories uh, and also um, a very small student teacher ratio with a, which guarantees you a personal attention from professor. So if you look at the fact that we only admit around 15 to 20 students uh, per, for each program per batch, that means that you, we can guarantee you this, this personal attention because you can really work together with the professor in class, certainly also with your classmates and, and have a very international experience at the same time, this attention from the professor. And these professors all have at least um, three years of experience in private companies. So outside of the academic career. As we are a University of Applied Sciences, this is very important for us that the professors bring this experience into the university, into the classes, and share, be, are able to share this experience with uh, the students. And I personally feel that this uh, would be something very important for me if I would have to choose again uh, to study at a, at a university. So this aspect seems to be seems to me very important and. I'm sure um, you can judge yourself and, and see, but uh, I would look for that. There are also possibilities to pursue a doctoral degree. Uh, we always did that in cooperation with traditional universities here at Offenburg University. But now, especially in this area of uh, energy, we also have professors who have the right to grant a PhD. And therefore, if you are interested, um, you can apply for, for one of the um, doc, uh, PhD places after your master degree and see if there's a possibility. This is definitely an area where we do a lot of research in. Offenburg is, is, uh, University is very strong in 
research in the area of renewable energy, and we have an own institute and building for that. So there are around 40 to 50 uh, PhD students with us right now. Um, not all of them in this area, but uh, quite a few of them in this area of renewable energy. Renewable energy and data engineering has a duration of three semesters. It starts always only in the winter semester in October. You have as normal for this duration, 90 credits and uh, the master thesis 30 credits in the third semester. And the language of instruction, as I already mentioned in the beginning is um, in the first semester, completely English. And then in, German sem uh, in the second semester, you also have courses in German. Uh, still the exams are always also possible in English. Sorry. And if you look at the modules, you'll see that it's a very interesting mixture of uh, different aspects that are important for the energy sector now, the, the nowadays. It's not only important to have energy generation and knowledge about energy conversion, uh, but the market, the energy market, uh, the importance of the energy nets and how to deal with the nets and how to deal with big data and so on is has become very important. So this um, program combines all these uh, different aspects that you need to have if you want to work successfully in the area of energy as an engineer uh, and therefore combines uh, these three areas in a very um, very uh, good way so that you're perfectly perfectly prepared for the energy market when after your studies here in the program renewable energy and data engineering you see one module is energy economics the other mod module is power plants and power systems but then you already get to the energy net um, in, in energy storage conversion and distribution and the energy usage in industrial processes so it's a very uh, broad uh, knowledge about the energy sector. And it, as I said, it perfectly prepares you for this market. So this is the first semester. And then the second semester, again, you have renewable energy systems and then operational research in energy economics and power electronics and grid control and grid operation analysis, planning and communication. So, and then in the third semester, you will uh, write your master thesis. Most of our students do that in, uh, in together with the company. So they are supervised by a research responsible research, a person responsible for research in this specific company and, and work on a specific project, research project. And at the same time, they are supervised by a professor of the university. So that's uh, a little bit the overview of the program. What you need to be able to apply for this program is that you have a bachelor's degree that corresponds with these topic. But as it's a very wide and broad um, program, you can come from different disciplines. So you should have definitely some knowledge in energy generation, energy conversion already in uh, yeah, in thermodynamic is very important, uh, but you can come either from the area of mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or even IT because it as it combines these three areas, so uh, it yeah it we are open for all um, these this these uh, bachelor backgrounds, uh, and you can show your your focus that you have already put on energy and. Uh, this will be important um, for the selection process. The deadline for your application will is March 31st, uh, and the lectures always start in October. Um, and you have to have definitely an English language certificate in order to show that you will be able to study in English, which is uh, IB. Um, TOEFL, IBT in 79 or IELTS 6.0 in each field of uh, test, of the test. 
And you also have to have, it doesn't show on this uh, slide, I'm sorry, but you also have to have a German knowledge B1. The fees um, per semester for this master programs for non-European citizens are all together, including all the insurances and everything, not the, um, not the, uh, the health insurance, but the insurance is here from the university, like in accident insurance and and yeah, things like that are all included. So it's 1,810 euros uh, that you have to count, uh, that you have to pay for, for semester, per semester to the university. There are some scholarships, uh, which means that this these fees are reduced by 1,500 euros, which are the tuition, the state tuition for this program. However, I have to admit uh, that you're only able, only eligible for these the scholarship once you already are studying here, which means you cannot apply for it for the first semester, only for the second and third semester. There are also some little small partial scholarships that help you just with a few hundred euros maybe, but also the same uh, is rel relevant for that. Uh, they only you're only allowed to apply for those when, when you're here, so you cannot really count on it. But I, I would suggest uh, to have a look at the scholarship database from the DAD, for example, because all the scholarships they offer, if it fits to you and you can apply for it, they are also valid for us. We offer you a lot of support services here at Offenburg University. So when you come to Offenburg, we will definitely not leave you in the rain and all by yourself before when you arrive here. Uh, we have even participated in a survey years ago with the DA, uh, which was supported by the DAD and many universities of Germany participated. And we were very proud and, and happy to see that our students rated as number one in the area of arrival assistance. And we are always trying to improve that even more. So you will have assistance in finding accommodation. You will have a senior buddy, which means an experienced student uh, that will get in contact with you, help you in the first few uh, days and weeks to, to find your way around, to get, yeah, to, to know what where to go and what to do. Um, there will be orientation events. You also have, and this is also not very common and specific coordinator for each of our master degree programs. So you can turn to this program with any question during your studies and you will get individual support and advice. And I recommend you to come uh, one month earlier before your course starts, which means in September, because there's a German summer language school that we offer for one month where you study intensively a German language and will, will improve even more. Uh, and you will get at the same time a nice introduction here to the university. You will get to know some classmates and yeah, just uh, get have a nice time together besides studying German because you will do a lot of excursions and nice, have a nice, nice time uh, and, and a lot of nice events together. We also offer certainly language courses during the lecture period. And there's also a cultural and social program with excursions, get togethers and uh, events offered. So we certainly, most importantly, we want you to have success in your studies and your career, but we also want you to have a very nice, a good time here to be able to integrate uh, and get to know the German culture and way of living too. Certainly, we also have a sports um, program here with many different uh, sports offered. For example, there's a lake right next to the university where you can participate in the sailing club in summer, or you can go into the mountains, the Black Forest Mountains, go mountain biking, and so on. And a very special initiative here is our senior service, which is a group of um, around 50 to 60 people right now uh, who are most of them already retired and they just get got together on a voluntary basis because they want international students who come to Offenburg that uh, they want to welcome them. They want them to feel 
um, to be able to get to know something different than only university life, get to know um, somebody else from outside of the university, to get to know the German way of living, culture, invite them to their homes or just do some something together, go biking together or whatever. So it's a very nice possibility, very good possibility to to get to know people here from the city and you will see that they're very open-minded. They want to ex exchange with you. They're also interested in your culture. And many of our students have benefited from that very much and are still in contact with members of this senior service. And last but not least, we also want to get help you with uh, job application training at the end of your study. So there are some um, courses uh, you can participate for that and there's also a very big recruiting event which used to be here at the campus at the university but it's grown too much and now we do it in a separate fair place um, and it just shows the great interest of companies in the graduates of Offenburg University and certainly once you're when, once you've finished and you graduated, we also want to keep in contact with you and give you the possibility to network among each other. So therefore we have the International Alumni Network and we will be happy if you join and keep in contact. Let me conclude. So if you come to the Graduate School of Offenburg University in order to study renewable energy and data engineering, you will have an English taught program and still you will be able to get into German language much more already in the second semester so that it uh, helps you in order to enter the German um, working, uh, the German labor market. You will be teached in small groups, have a very intercultural experience, and you, will, you can count on comprehensive individual services. And I'm sure once you finish this program, you will also have excellent career opportunities. So thank you very much for your attention. I'm open for your question after the next uh, presentation. And just want to emphasize, em emphasize once more, Offenburg University is definitely the place to build your future. So have a look at this program. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much, Lydia. And Lydia's uh, email is uh, in front of your screen, on your screens now and also in the chat. You can also take a note. All right, let me now share once my screen once again to introduce once again our next speaker from Ansbach University of Applied Sciences, Dr. Gerd Hoffmann, and he will talk about a uh, master's program in smart energy systems. And you can see we are staying in the south of Germany, but a bit north and, and a bit to the center. <laughs> okay, Dr. Uh, Hoffmann, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. So I just start my screen sharing should now be able to see my presentation thank you very much for the um, introduction um, so my name is uh, dr gerd hofmann i'm um, a coordinator of the um, study program i will present to you in the next few minutes so ansbach university of um, applied science as uh, georgie already said is in the south of germany um, has around um, 42,000 residents. We are around 50 kilometers in the southwest of Nuremberg, so um, you're quite close um, with the um, S train, just 40 minutes. If you want to go to bigger cities like Stuttgart or Munich, um, you just can catch the train and um, we'll get there within two hours. Ansbach University of Applied Science um, consists of a big um, main campus and there are several special um, campi um, next to that, which deal um, with special um, topics. Why should you choose Ansbach University of Applied Science? So we are a quite young and modern university. We are one of the youngest universities in Bavaria. This means our equipment is um, newly bought, so quite modern. Also, um, as we are quite young, we are um, 
small. We have just around 3,000 um, students. So this means um, the study groups will be small and you will get a very individual support from all the lecturers and from the professors. This means um, good support, you get a good mentoring and have a very um, familiar contact to all the professors and people with you. We have a hands-on mentality on our university, which means that um, we have a lot of professors with practical um, expertise. So everybody um, comes from the um, economics, so has work experience. Um, we have a lot of lab work um, where students can get into um, practical things. We have internships and we have also company projects where you can get in contact with your um, future um, companies where you can apply for a job. Also, we support um, you with a um, networking fair and a job exchange, um, which holds place annually at the university. Um, further, we have a career service, which supports you um, with getting a job afterwards. And we have a startup counseling. So if you um, have a great idea and want to um, make your own business, we will also support you um, to get your startup running. Nevertheless, um, we are award winning. So based on the student's opinion, we were ranked place 15 out of 102 in Germany um, for all the universities of applied science. And especially in Bavaria, we are in the top 10 with place six out of 21. So our faculties at Ansbach University um, split into business, engineering, and media. And there we have a lot of different um, courses which cover bachelor and master degrees. And I want to focus on the engineering part where we have um, this sustainable engineering, smart energy systems, and sustainable building systems. And these three courses are located at one of the special campi of University um, Ansbach, which is the energy campus. At this energy campus, we have the two master programs, sustainable building systems, which is about the buildings as the name says. Then we have smart energy systems, which I will introduce you in the following. And we have um, a grounding bachelor um, lecture, which deals with energy and building technology. Besides our teaching, we um, of course have research. Um, for example, we have a big lab um, that holds an energy management system with own photovoltaics with the battery storage. And we can just do our experiments right um, at our campus. There are several projects with big um, companies like Siemens or Water Storage, um, where we deal with the future topics in, um, in energy. And we also offer further education for workers um, outside of the university. So let me now come to our master course, Smart Energy Systems. So why um, should you deal with um, smart energy system because it's our future energy system. All the um, energy that we need will be generated um, in a decentralized way in the future. So we have a lot of um, participants in the energy market and you will get to know how everything works together and how you have to handle every participant in this network. We deal with the mega trends of our time, which are decarbonization. We want to get rid of the CO2 emitting fossil power plants. Um, decentralization. So that means we don't have a big, um, a big power plant 
that provides energy to a lot of consumers, but we have a lot of prosumers that generate energy and supply it to the grid. Um, and the energy can be consumed from other prosumers in the same network. And of course, we have the digitalization, which means that we measure a lot of things um, online with special devices, and we have to take care of all the data and we have to manage it properly. Why do we have to do that? So we have a lot of decentralized and spread out um, contributors to the network, and we want to make them work together to replace a conventional fossil or nuclear power plant. This is um, the idea behind our master program. What will you learn? What will you get to be a smart energy systems expert? You will deal with um, economy in the energy sector, which is um, quite important because without money, it's nothing. You will learn how to simulate and optimize energy systems. You will have to do a lot of with the Internet of Things. So we have to share data. We have to pass data to other um, contributors in the network. You will learn a lot about information technology. And we also implement artificial intelligence in our program. And all of these five topics will make you an expert in smart energy systems. Of course, we have um, a module plan um, which goes from the bottom to the top. So in the first semester, you start with basic things like energy systems and energy economy. You will learn about simulation of energy systems. You will deal with the IoT. Um, you can um, get a certificate for LabVIEW programming and you will learn the basics for artificial intelligence. There is also the chance to, um, to choose an elective course. Um, we always recommend to choose German as an elective course to improve the speaking because as George already said in the beginning, German is quite important for your further steps of your career. In the second semester, we um, just go on with virtual power plants, energy entrepreneurship, where we have um, guests from industry that um, tell you how they made it with their own business. We will deal with uh, the optimization and operations research, and you will have a project course where you can set up um, your own project based on the learnings of the first semester. And you will also apply the um, artificial intelligence in energy systems and you will learn about blockchain technologies. In the third semester, um, as usual, you will do your master thesis, which is um, in cooperation with different companies. Um, you can choose a topic that fits to your needs, to your interests, and you will get, um, you will have a professor that um, is on your side and guides you during the thesis. So besides all the lectures, we will have on-site lectures and excursions. Um, on the picture, you can see our Wallbox test lab. So we have installed a lot of different um, things that you can find in your um, future working life. And you can put your hands on with the professor. You can make different experiments. Um, we also organize excursions. Um, on the right picture, you can see an electrolyzer for hydrogen. Um, we try to show you all the technologies um, that have been on the um, introduction um, picture I showed you at the beginning. So you should be able to realize and to um, focus on all the parts that you will have to deal with in your working life in the future. 
I already mentioned, we will also have um, some guests. Um, on the left picture, you can see um, a guest lecturer from Bosch. Um, on the right side, you can see um, the visit of the Smarter E Europe, with the, which is a technology fair. Um, and this will help you to get connected with different companies and find a company that fits to your interest for the master thesis in the third semester. In the south of um, Germany, we have a lot of um, companies that deal with energy topics. Um, Ansbach University, um, as I already told you in the beginning, is quite in the center between Nuremberg, Stuttgart, and Munich, where you can find um, the mass of these companies. So what are the requirements to apply for smart energy systems? Um, we need a successful completed university degree, bachelor's degree in one of the fields of engineering science like electrical, mechanical or supply engineering. Um, also physics or computer science um, fits into our requirements or something comparable. So if you are not sure, feel free to contact me afterwards um, and I will give you some hints um, if you are um, electable for our program. Further, we require 210 ECTS, um, 30 ECTS per semester or 30 hours workload um, are equal to one ECTS. So this is calculated by, um, by the application. If you can not provide 210 ECTS, you um, can earn further credit points, which are the, um, the measurement for European universities with other modules um, you can choose from our program. The overall examination grade um, should be at least 2.3 or better. Um, we require also English at a level of B2 and we require German at a level A2. Um, I really recommend to focus on German because this um, will open you a wide field of companies to apply in the future. The last point is a letter of motivation, um, which might be written in English or um, also in German, just to show us um, what you're interested in, what um, makes you eligible for our program. The application for both our master courses um, is um, in such a way that you can start the master's program only in the winter semester. The application will only be um, online via our application portal. This is um, open from May. You can upload all the documents in this portal and you get um, the preliminary review documentation um, by Junior Assist. Um, you should um, keep in mind that it usually takes four to six week, weeks um, for them to process your documents. So make sure to submit the documents early. And if you want to get further information, um, please visit our um, study homepages for smart energy systems. If you're interested, um, feel free to have a look at sustainable building um, systems as well. If you want to inform about the energy campus in Feuchtwangen, you can visit campusfeuchtwang.de and to get an impression of um, the city of Feuchtwangen, please visit studyfeu.de. Um, if you have special questions, feel free to um, contact Professor Jungwirt or also myself. Um, we will try to answer your questions as quickly as possible. Okay, so I'm at the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Let me uh, start with the open questions. Let me start with you, uh, Dr. Hoffman. There's a question uh, if I mean, yeah, you already addressed it actually, but yeah, is there any mandatory internship as a part of your study program? Um, the internship is not mandatory, but um, 
we really recommend it to get in touch with uh, the companies at a quite early stage and um, to test if um, it will fit for master thesis or for your future career. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. That was clear. Uh, all right. Lydia, I want to ask, you already addressed this question, but I think it's also nice to once again repeat it. Uh, as the German... Uh, as German starts in the second semester, is it fine to apply with A2 and improve German to B1 by the second semester? What would be your suggestion? Yeah, uh, as I answered, it's not possible to start with uh, A2 or A, uh, you already have to have B1 before you start the course, which means you can apply with B2. Uh, mm -hmm. That's fine, but you have to prove that you have level B1 before your inscription. Okay, clear. And let me stay with you, Lydia. One more question. I think I missed that part. Lydia, do you require any specific GPA letter of motivation, reference letter, etc.? Thank you. Yes, we do not require any specific GPA. Uh, in general, I would say um, if you have, if you are among the first third of your batch, uh, there is a chance for you to to be able to be, uh, to be. Um, to uh, selected by the selection committee of the program at the end. But uh, even if, you know, uh, it's a little bit lower than that, uh, I don't, uh, don't be frustrated and try it anyhow, because it's not the only criteria that we look at. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do um, ask for a motivation letter, for example. So they also will have a look at that. They will look at specific subjects uh, that you had, because it's important for us, for example, that you have some knowledge in thermodynamics and in other um, subjects that they will look at specifically. So some subjects count more, though the grade in some subjects is more important to them than in other subjects that you may, may have had. Mm -hmm. So we really look very closely at each, uh, at your transcript and the grades you had. And um, I, it's it's a very easy uh, process for you as a an uh, if you apply for Offenburg University because we do the whole process here at Offenburg University itself. You do not have to apply through only assist, mm -hmm. and uh, you can get in direct contact with the coordinator. The first step we only ask you basically some personal data and your transcript of record from your bachelor's degree. And only uh, when you get the feedback then that this fits to the program and that you have um, the fitting background, educational background, then we invite you to send in for the second step of the application process all uh, the other documents. And then the final selection will be uh, taken among all these documents. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Clear. Uh, then now... based on all these documents sorry i just said yeah. that wrong <laughs> um now going back to ansbach um the, f the question is is there a focus on iot or smart grids um i wouldn't say there's a focus but um both parts are um quite important um building blocks um, for the whole system. So we um, don't um, especially focus on, on IoT or on smart grids, but um, you will get in touch with uh, IoT. You will build um, own devices. You will gather um, experience with handling IoT devices. And um, especially in the um, module virtual power plants, um, we deal with smart grids because um, you just have to share all the energy in these grids. Um, so it's not a focus, but it's um, a very important part of the whole um, course. Okay. Let me stay with you, Dr. Hoffman. A very basic question. The question is whether the university uh, is public or private. It's a, it's a public uh, university. Quite, quite simple. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you. Lydia, there was a question also for you. Uh, there's a question is to come early, uh, do you assist with student applicant visa? Uh, we do not, you know, we cannot interfere in the visa process, but we do provide you with all the necessary documents uh, early enough so you can 
uh, well, if you are selected for the program, you get early enough all the documents that you need to uh, get the student visa uh, and apply for it. Therefore, you already have to apply uh, by the end of March because we know that the visa process takes some time and therefore we want you to get all these documents in time. Mm -hmm. And uh, now one more question for you, Nadidia, and then the same for Dr. Hoffman. Uh, can bachelor certificate be provided later? Is it fine to apply with current preliminary certificate? Uh, yeah, actually, this counts for all our uh, all the documents requested. Uh, you can apply without, but you have to um, you have to present it for before the final selection. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the same for you, Doctor Hoffman. Yeah, I, I was just Link. answering the. Um... The question, and it's the same for us. You can apply without the original, um, the official document, um, but you have to hand it in before the semester starts. Okay, great, thanks. Now again, the general question. Let me start with Dr. Hoffman. So, so these programs have cohort system or independent curriculum? Are these restriction? Are there restrictions on to how many programs can one apply within one university and cross universities? Yeah. So you can. Um, so the, the the program is um, a cohort system. So you um, have the same schedule um, for all of the students, um, but you can easily choose um, can easily choose modules that go along with the um, standard program. So this means if you want to. Um, keep a special focus for yourself, um, you are able to, to choose special topics you are interested in. Mm -hmm. um, and also, if you can apply for um, multi-programs at one university, um, to my knowledge, yes, it is possible. You can do that. Um, but of course, you um, will get in trouble with uh, the schedule so that means um, that some modules will um, interfere with other modules from your other course. So I really wouldn't recommend such a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, Lydia, same question for you. Yeah, I would respond just in the same way as I don't have anything to add to that, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Uh, now, there is a question. So what if you have microbiology as your bachelor's degree, but work experience in environment management with certifications? May I apply? I don't know to whom exactly is this question, but let me ask both of you. Lydia, let me start with you. The, the bachelor's microbiology? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm afraid that doesn't fit to, to our program Renewable Energy and Data Engineering um, because you really have to have a bachelor's degree that fits more uh, to the three areas that are included in, in this master. And microbiology is not a part of it. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. afraid that doesn't work. Okay. Also, it's very important to, to know this. Thank you, Lydia uh, and Dr. Hoffman. So in our case, um, I also would agree that it uh, does not fit um, 100 percent, but uh, we might check the uh, the certificates. And if you can um, prove some knowledge in the um, regarding fields, then we might grant you um, the application um, out of the um, traditional way. Mm -hmm. OK. Great. Um, hello, sir. I'm in the fifth semester in electrical engineering and five year plus experience. I have also I have also learned Deutsch from Duolingo. OK, sir, uh, guide me. What is good to me in the future to apply in Germany? So is a question for me. Um, uh, I don't know if you're asking me, please drop me an email and I will help you out with as, as much as I can. But if your question is, if it's your with background in electrical engineering and your work experience, you fit into one of these programs. Let us ask the speakers for very short answers. Uh, Dr. Hoffman, what would you say? Just based on the background, is it fitable? I would say that fits perfectly. Perfectly. So, yeah. Mohamed, you can see it fits perfectly. And Lydia, I think, would say also that it fits. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it fits. Uh, you just need to get the certificate for B1 for our course and... Uh... 
yeah, electrical engineering fits well. Yeah, okay. So I can already provide you with some guidance. These two programs fit. So you can choose between two of them and, of course, more if you would like to. Uh, all right. Is it planned to introduce cost in Ansbach as it as it is in Bavaria? Um, so to my current knowledge, um, it is not planned to introduce cost in Ansbach. Um, right now, we just have um, a student union fee of 67 euros per semester um, to um, to cover special things, um, and um, that's all. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. We cleaned the board. That's amazing. Uh, let me say thank you <laughs> to our guests. Thank you, as always, for very, very good presentations and also for answering clearly all the questions and honestly. Uh, and to your attendees, of course, thank you very much for your questions as well, for attending our webinar. If you have any more uh, follow-up questions, as it usually happens, you know, uh, after you uh, try to digest all the information that you received, of course, you can get in touch with our speakers for more additional for additional questions, for questions of understanding and so on and so forth. They will definitely help you out with the best possible answers. And of course, if you have general questions, like general guidance level questions, UniAssist questions, because today, for example, UniAssist and VPD was mentioned, right? Uh, and or the visa questions, like student applicant visa was mentioned, and so on and so forth. We can also help you out with that. Before also, um, before even getting out, uh, get, reach, re reaching us, you can also read our articles because these questions are very popular and we address them already in the article. So hopefully they will help you out to find the answers. So once again, thanks a lot. Until next time. Bye-bye. Thank you Thank very you. much. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.